Hey, what is up guys? It is your boy Speed here, and today we're playing Lona Safe Lane as of request from Ali Kaho, who two days ago said day 30 of asking Speed to play position 1 Luna. This is the last time. I'm done. 30 days, and every comment got two likes. Crying face emoji. Well, good for you, man, because this time you got 166 likes. Let's all clap it up for Ali Kaho. And the second thing I want to clap it up for is everyone who purchased a Game Leap sub in the last week. You guys are the real champs. So I'm going to be totally transparent with you guys, as I really do like to be as much as possible on this channel. I just played a Safe Lane Luna game. I lost. And I'm not posting it because I got really tilted. And uh, I did not talk for the entire second half of the video. So uh, I think it's completely unwatchable. However, what I will say is I learned quite a bit from that game. The number one thing I learned is if the enemy team buys a bunch of BKBs and you go magical damage Luna build without the cast range talent, it's pretty bad. So if you're going to go the Ags build, no matter how good 15 attack speed may seem, as juicy as that is, eh, just be a little bit careful because you need the cast range talent. I really needed the cast range talent to optimize my hero. Also, Luna is so bad against Enigma. That matchup is miserable. In the lane, it's miserable. And most importantly, it, like... Uh, you don't have like a- you're so immobile, your hero just doesn't move, so like, it's just so hard not to get black hold. So, I, I threw a couple times that game too. But. Alright, let's get into this. I'm gonna take my bean, this is such a bad trade. I don't even want to go for this runes. No, 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 don't kill yourself for the rune. No! He could've just walked away. <laughs> it's so funny, dude. People like- I swear to god, these people must die like 8 million times like that and never learn. Like, it's like, surely that happens pretty often at this point, right? What MMR am I? I don't I don't even know. 4,340. Gotta happen fairly often, right? Are you get caught like that? Alright, we're in the Radiant Safe Lane, so you do not want to block in the Radiant Safe Lane. In terms of this lane, I'll be playing very, very passive. I frankly... Actually, I mean, I have a Lich. So maybe that's not fully true. Oh, whoops, I pulled aggro under tower. Alright, got the range creep value. I'm gonna aggro this under tower because it will be CS range when it's under the tower. Can't tell who's their offlaner here. They both have kind of like offlane items. I guess this guy is an oob, so he's probably the support. All right. Cast your fraud. Guys, if someone's out of position like that and you can both hit them, you should just nuke them. He also has two clarities and four mangoes and he's not casting nuke. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it just makes theoretically no sense. If you're going to buy that item, you got to gotta nuke, my man. I actually meant to nuke the range tree, but that frankly worked. Uh, with these two creeps, I am going to stack them just so I can uh, try to prevent them. Because I'm going to imagine they're going to static as well, so I'll let my Lich contest the lane. He's actually beating them up so hard. You know what? I'm going to fight with the Lich. Dude, this guy's dead. Okay. Oh, he's not dead. He has a big stick. This guy's dead. Can we have a Frost Blast in one? Oof. Dang it. <laughs> they all lived on one HP. Alright, that's fine. I mean, the best thing about this pressure is that now it kind of opens up the wave a little bit for me. So, let me creep back the way back. Did he just cast two shrapnels? <laughs> he did. <laughs> uh, come on, Sniper. You're better than that. Now, in terms of items, I'm definitely going to need a bitter region. I'll pick up a mango, then I'll pick up a rape Band recipe. I'll wait for the circlet. I also hate lasting this this hero. It's so hard, I feel. Later on, it's not too hard because you eventually get some extra damage, but... Oh my... There's a creep wave under my tier 1 Lich, I'm just helping you out. The reason why I can help Lich there, I think it's actually a good talking point. Because there's no CS I'm missing. Right? I wasn't missing any CS because of it, so I don't mind throwing in an extra auto, you know? See what I'm saying? It's just kind of like an efficiency thing, right? Whoops. Nice. Alright. Oh, we can buy both. Perfect. Alright, let's play through here. I'm going to pull aggro just off this. Oh, how did I pull aggro on the tomato for you? That was weird. I want my Lich to hit them. Now, this lane is pretty aggressive. Like, I have a really aggressive lane support. So, I'm considering taking two points in beam. But to be honest, it doesn't really fit my game plan. Also, you know, the Lunar Blessing's pretty freaking good with Lich. How it works is it just gives some damage to nearby heroes. Easy aggro. Also, I do want to take this creep. One thing to note about Luna is once you hit level 3, you can start to lay in some autos. You know, you'll notice that your hero hits incredibly hard. Oh, I'm out of position, huh? Lich, you are, you're level 3! With full HP, full mana, don't run away! Uh, he, like, guys, if you're full HP, full mana on a support, and your carry's getting gone on, run forward. Run forward. What is this kill attempt? Am 
I, why am I here? I'm gonna get speared. Dude, what is shrapnel cooldown? I also don't know why I walked into these trees, but... I'll just get the beam so we can get the kill. Alright, that's fine. I'll get my regen back up. That's right, I shouldn't miss any creeps under tower. That was really bad positioning. I don't know why I walked to the right. I'm like out here flaming these supports and I can't even position myself, GG. But uh, okay, the lane's going fine. I, I find CS. It's not the best, honestly. I, I really struggle to CS with this hero for some reason. I feel like it's because maybe the lanes I'm playing against are just like kind of aggressive and I don't know, it gets me a bit distracted, but all right, I gotta focus up, make no excuses. Let's get these CS. Also, you might be wondering why quelling? I don't know, I just think it's good. Like, you know, I'm a range hero. It gives me six damage. It's the highest damage uh, per item. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's the highest damage that I could buy for this amount of gold. So I just feel like it's kind of value for that. Sniper is absolutely psycho. <laughs> He's more psycho than I am, and I'm pretty psycho. All right, let's deny up these creeps. Oh, this guy's actually lower than I thought. I should definitely be here. Got a mango. Bitch is about to hit him up with the solo kill. All right, and for maximum efficiency, you take two points in your... your. Uh... Oh, actually, I need to get to this creep wave. You take two points in your blessing, and then you max out your glaives and it's really fast farming like you guys you guys will honestly honestly be shocked about how fast this hero farms i've actually played luna like three times now including this game last game and i played a mid luna game and it's ridiculous how fast you farm it really is honestly it impresses me how uh, efficient this hero actually can be which makes me think it's kind of viable um and in this game i think i'll i think i'll be okay like my goal is to build up to like a really efficient um like tanky build i want to go like sanj and yasha satanic and just be unkillable so I do want to get XP for this card. Okay, I got XP. Where's my creep wave? Oh, there it is. I was like, felt like it was missing or something. All right, so currently it's a 2v1. I don't feel like I can walk up. So frankly, I'm just not going to bother. You know, I think a lot of people make this mistake where they feel like, oh, the lane creeps are worth so much gold. I have to get them. Yeah, I mean, you kind of do. But if your support's going to leave, it is what it is. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to bother. Frankly, my hero jungles so quickly that I just don't think it's worth my time. But yeah, as you can see really really fast it's it's pretty insane you know like to me i don't know it's it, it's insane to me at least and i should i consider going midas i don't think so i think i'm just gonna go s actually i love dragon lance dragon lance is really nice that attack range is makes your positioning so much better also lets you chase down people but yeah we're gonna be going full right click mode not doing any half right click no ags build full right click full carry and frankly full right click builds tend to be the way to carry pubs they're just the easiest to execute here we go off to the jungle we go, and uh, frankly, I'll be hitting creeps probably for the next 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes. And uh, yeah, the enemy team will likely lose as a result. We'll have to see. Looks like top's doing fine. Lich is getting some XP bottom. Okay, a broom handle. The item you really want on Luna is the um, the lifesteal item. All right, these are not those items, but I'll keep the damage one for now. It's pretty good. A lot of damage and some armor. But you really want the lifesteal item. If you can get the lifesteal item, it just makes your... Like, otherwise, you have to buy salves every so often. It's kind of annoying, but... Hopefully we won't have to do that. Oh, Storm's crushing. Oh my god. My Storm is 5 and 1. Okay, this game's going to be free. Ooh, hopefully I can get this Ancient stack off. Okay, it looks like I will. Oh, I can even maybe get the double... Oh, no, this game. This is already stacked, so I probably can't get the double stack, but... That's what I'm saying. I'm probably going to have to ship a salve, otherwise I'll just be so low on HP. That's fine. I'll wait till I have my Band of Elven skin as well. Actually, no, I need to ship it now. I'm going to freaking die. Something. Look, I, I can barely farm this. Eh. I have to drag it all the way out. I don't even know if this is worth my time. I'm basically going to die to it. I think they're not a Bloodseeker. Honestly, I'm, I'm actually pretty certain that this is not worth my time. Because, like, I honestly barely can farm it. I do have to drag it all the way out. Fortunately, I do have my salve now, which is nice. I guess it will slowly die. Huh? Huh? It's dying. Gotta get this for my regen. I'll be maxing out my blessing. It's a bit questionable to max blessing, but as I said, I have a very clear, uh, a very clear vision of how I'm going to be playing this game, and I'm going to be sticking to that vision no matter what, regardless of what happens this game. Did I give it the storm or did I misclick? I did. Okay, good. All right, we cleared through it. It nearly killed us, but hey, we did it. I can show up this engagement. I'm really low, but it's going to get Rolling Thunder off. I can probably help out. Oh, and a stack. You love to see that. You really love to see that, for sure. You really love it. All right. 
Oh, and we killed the camp in time. But I'm gonna have to buy another self, dude. I need the regen item so bad. This hero, dude, this hero with the regen item chills, but without it, I actually don't know how you avoid taking damage. It's impossible. It's actually impossible. Like, do I buy Mask of Madness? I guess it's okay. Mask of Madness is definitely an option, but it does prevent you from being active early on. Like, with the Dragonlance Rush, it's actually pretty nice. You can be pretty active. Yeah, now, like, now, you're gonna see how really fast I actually farm, like, you know, I was talking about how fast I farm earlier, but once you have, like, that one stat item, I mean, you're chilling. The only problem is I have the Storm, who kind of farms the same thing I do, which is why when you're playing Luna, typically you want, like, pace tempo heroes. I mean, Storm is pretty good, I I'll be honest, but, like, I just say there's better heroes, you know? There's heroes that are a bit more active than Storm. Dude, how is Coddle? Coddle needs to be blasting this midwave, because I can't defend it. I'm just gonna die. Like, there's no way I defend it. I even kind of want to TP bottom, to be honest. But that seems a bit dangerous. It'll also kind of grief my farming rotation if I TP bottom, so... Because bottom is just so far away from the Ancients and anything convenient, so... I'm not gonna do that. My guy isn't working, nice. I'll shift towards bottom for now, and then I'm gonna TP top when the Ancients are in stack time. This is a really efficient way to uh, play the map, in my opinion, where... You know, if you're a very Ancient-centric hero, you can farm the bottom side of the map. You just have to be ready to TP when your time comes, alright? So hopefully I can clear out this bottom wave and then TP in time. It's gonna be really close, though. I think I'll be able to do it. Yeah. Oh, maybe I won't be able to. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Come on, run. You're so fast. You're so fast, Black Dragon. Yes, let's go, Black Dragon. You're the best. I love you. All right, and now we got we got ourselves. you know, we push out the bottom lane a little bit. The dead lane, the hard farm. We're back into the jungle, farming it up, farming it up. I'll take a value point in Eclipse here. And uh, this is the game plan. This is the game plan, ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, my team, like, I'll be honest, like, really, uh, if you guys are trying to enable your safe laner more, you want to create more space for them, you really want to try to make plays, like, here-ish or here-ish, because either one, if I get more vision, like, if I have more vision on the enemy, then I can make more, uh, I can make more aggressive farming rotations, but if I don't, I can't really ever push onto the enemy side of the map. Stack this up. Honestly, I can kill this. I don't even need to stack it. I guess stacking it is actually kind of efficient, because you farm stacks fast. It will bounce more. But actually, no, that's not how it works because it, it does the full bounce duration regardless. Yeah, it looks like we're going to try to kill this Weaver. Oh, no, Storm is clicked. <laughs> he got his TP canceled. <laughs> uh, as I said, I don't really want to be here, but I'm going to kind of do the same thing as last time. Oh, I don't like being here at all. I really don't. All right, back to the triangle. I also want to farm top now if possible. I'm gonna buy. I'm gonna buy the wards. Oh, okay, there is none. I want to buy the wards if possible, so I can get one deep down in their jungle. Because without that, it's very hard for me to play. I, if if I want to play this part of the map and I don't have a ward like here, I'm gonna have a very hard time, you know. Because then I can't go like that to the enemy team. All right, let's head over to the top lane. My lich is on the split push, you know. Level ten lich, minute fourteen. He's popping off. He's the most farmed lich this world's ever seen. Completely griefing my wave that he's pushing in, so I can't farm it. But hey, it is what it is. Honestly, I'm all for supports pushing in lanes, but like, when your team wants to fight and you have a Luna, and you're pushing in the safe lane, like, this is not the dead lane, right? It's the opposite of dead lane, mode BSJ. Then, you know, it's just a grief, right? Like, look, I'm so stranded. I have nowhere to go. I'm a lost boy in a lost town. There's no camps. Lich is farming the small camp. Level 25 Lich. Is that level 30? I don't even want to know. I don't, I don't even want to know. I don't want to know. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I don't think it will make me happy. Also, I think I can go Scotty this game. They have a bunch of ranged heroes. To be fair, it might be hard for me to hit those ranged heroes with the Scotty, but uh, it's just so good for griefing their attack speed, you know? One thing, uh, honestly, one reason why I like to go Manta in a lot of games is just because, like, then I can go top a lot more comfortably. Dude, there's no... Please don't farm top storm. Please farm mid. Ah! Dude! Why don't you just farm mid and push it in? I barely- You see your hard carry walking there. Oh my- Nothing's happening in this game. It's actually so hard to farm. Alright, I see things happening. Nice, I can actually push up for once. Let's go! Let's go, I can push up. I'm getting recalled. 
I'm hitting creeps. Alright, I'm an auto attack. This is what my hero does. I'm very glad I'm here. Can't tell if this guy dies or not, but I'm gonna farm the creep wave. If my team tracks him down, that's great. Okay, we sort of tracked him down, but... It's like a... Alright, I'm not chasing that guy. No chance. His dust is ending. No chance. Care Puck? My mom cares Puck. Care Puck my butt. Puck is dead. Puck can care me. Oh, Storm, he's zipping in. Do I take the movement speed talent? I think that's just a grief, right? Not taking loose and beam damage. I think that's just a grief. Loose and beam talent is actually just too good. If I don't take it, I think that's just a hard grief. Even though I said I'm all right click, I think that's such a mistake if I don't take a... Uh, Listen, Beam. Now I'm going to go BKB next. I'm playing it safe. I need a BKB. They have too much magical damage. Alright, easy kill. Nice stacking of the stuns. You love to see that. Alright, now let's shift to the top side of the map. While Storm attempts to grief us. Imclaw. Alright, I'll take that. A little extra damage, sure. Why is this, why is this top wave always shoved? What the heck did my hero just do? This top wave is always shoved. I can't farm it. That's fine. I can play the trees. I just don't see anyone. The, the nice thing about Luna is you have amp night vision because of your E. So, like, I can see a lot. Philly rock. So, like, I can kind of be in this area and feel somewhat comfortable about it. But at the end of the day, if they're smoked and they have a ward, I'm, I'm just straight up dead. So, this is kind of the... I, I've said it multiple times, but this is the problem with Luna. Like, especially if you don't go Manta, it can be very hard to play these dangerous parts of the map. But this Weaver is so weak, dude. He is building a Lincolns and doesn't have it. Now, I'm a little bit afraid of getting ganked now. I've shown up here for a bit, so let's head on out. Let's mosey on down to the ancient camp. And this is the very nice farm rotation. Now, I'd like to quickly speak about why this is the way you want to do it, where you don't jungle the jungle first, and you jungle the jungle second. The reason why you want to do that is because if I jungle the jungle and then I go top, the top lane might be dangerous at that point, right? It could have gotten to the point where it's dangerous, like here. Sometimes you can jungle first if you think going top at all is really dangerous. Let's say, for instance, I see no one on the enemy team. We have no wards. My team is putting no pressure. All right, I'll probably wait. I probably won't go top. I'll just wait it out. But in a situation like this, for instance, I see them bottom. I'm already next to the camp, so I'm not going to skip them. I think that would be unreasonable. I do want them to respawn. But now I want to book it to top. Obviously, I'm not going to be inefficient. Once again, I will farm this camp for efficiency purposes. But... I want to get my way to top as soon as possible, and I want to push as many waves as I feel possible. So, like, I know the next one is spawning in two seconds, uh, but it's going to take a while to get to me, so I do feel pretty comfortable. My whole team is dead. It is what it is, but I do think that I can jungle this camp. You know what? I'm even going to... Uh, no, I'm going to go back to this wave. As I said, I want to be on this part of the map for as short as possible now, as I miss a bunch of the CS. And now I can shift back to my camps, right? So I push that out as far as I can. I'm going to wait for this to respawn, which is why it's efficient. And I can jungle back towards my side of the map, right? So it's like this nice natural rotation, right? It's this very flowy rotation. And that's why it's important to adapt to what's on the minimap as a carry as fast as possible to optimize your farm. That is how you optimize farming. Now we have a 20 minute three item timing, which in my opinion seems pretty good. I'm pretty happy with this. Luna wants to push. I think we should smoke. Top wave is sort of pushed out. I kind of want to push that out and then TP in. My team seemingly wants to go in on this Mars though, which... Alright, this is not good. I'm gonna go top. Bob the Terrorist of the Month is counting down his will OS cooldown as we speak. Oh my god. Wow. He is just hyping up this will OS cooldown as I miss all the CS. Oh, my team is getting gone on, but because I'm a greedy carry player, I'm gonna push the next wave. Mode efficiency, baby. Am I right? Never stop hitting creeps. Looks like my team is dying. I think Storm is lassoed. He can zip out if he wants. I will hit his bug for him. He lets me. Alright, we'll pick up an easy Mars kill here. Alright, I forgot I can't hit this hero for my life. I think Mars Luna is probably not a great matchup. I guess my magical damage is pretty good against him, but... What's up, Puck? Don't rip. I want to kill both of them, so I'll beam the Jakiro. Nice. 
Do I take loosen beam damage? Usually people do. I think I will. I feel like it's a sin not to take loosen beam damage. Even though the 8 all stats is good. You know, just with Eclipse and with my low, lower beam cooldown. I think this talent build is fine. I'm just not going to go Ags. I think if you buy Ags and you don't take the cast range, then it's not good. But honestly, I, I, now that I'm thinking about it, even just without the cast range, like even without Ags, I feel like it'd just be really c convenient to have this like 400 damage nuke that's on like a two second cooldown to spam. So I'm going to have to do more testing. I'll see how fast I feel like I farm even without the attack speed talent. Frankly, it's only 15 attack speed, but it adds up, you know, it really does add up. So do I like the attack speed talent. I know the next wave is about right here. So we'll push up, get the next wave. We'll pick up some TPs. Now I'm going to push this in, then I'll get to the Ancients afterwards, and their Mindstorm is killing them. I'll push this top wave. I have a BKB, it's fine. One thing I also want to say about Luna is that I, sometimes I feel like you just have lockdown issues, which is why I think I'm going to go Scotty just to prevent that. I also think Abyssal could be okay. No, yeah, I'm going to go Scotty before this. Uh, I'm going to go Scotty before Abyssal, uh, before Satanic. I feel pretty safe top here. I see them primarily bottom slash mid, so it could be all right. bit of a waste of BKB, but it is what it is. I'll have to run away. Looks like Puck's potentially killing himself. Alright, honestly didn't think the Puck would make a play like that, so props to the Puck. Now looking at my HP, I actually feel like I need Satanic. So I'm kind of doubting myself, but... Oh, what's going on over here? I'm just gonna push the creep wave. Don't mind me. Should be able to get the tower. I don't think they can get to me. They do have a lot of fast heroes, but I think I'm alright. Alright, we'll just stick with the Satanic as we mentioned earlier. I think it's pretty reasonable. They just have like a lot of chip. This Puck and this Weaver can chip at me. They can't burst me. I feel like they have a hard time bursting me, yeah. So the Satanic will, will keep me alive. Especially, you know, considering I've amped Lifesteal regen with my uh, with my Sanj. Tell your team to get a Game Leap sub. You know, that's very true. Not perfect, but so beautiful. They really need Game Leaps. Everyone needs a Game Leap sub. Because it just changes your entire life. Let's keep pushing this in. And you can see how farmed I actually am. I don't know. Like, I'm really, I'm really weird about this hero because it farms so fast, but at the end of the day, it just feels like it lacks lockdown. Like, even if I buy Ag, sometimes it's just so awkward because, like, against Weaver and Puck, they can kind of get out of it, and I don't know, it kills the supports, but I think I'm, okay, I, I think the main way, now that I'm theory crafting my head more, I think the main way to play this hero is you go to Loosen Beam Talents, you take all the Loosen Beam Talents, you even might want to buy, like, an E-Blade, and then after that, uh, you buy an Ags, you kill the supports with the Ags, and then you kind of just hope you can beam down the course. Because, like, frankly, right-clicking as this hero is really hard. But maybe at some point I'll get so many items that I just can barrel through them, which is kind of the goal right now. Like, I'm hoping I can just out-farm them, like, not, like, out-hero match-up them or out-itemize or movement them. I, I feel like the way to play Luna, because of how slow she actually is, is just to kind of just, like, yeah, just straight-up out-item them. Be so farmed that there's nothing they can do. Got a satanic with the satanic i'm gonna walk up the hill we'll see if we die or not there you are puck one backline assassination done what i'm talking about now i'm starting to pump out the damage here we go baby now i'm hitting hard yeah too bad i can't track anyone down for my life Okay, good, good, great Smosh Buckle. We got him. All right. All right. That's what I'm talking about. I'm level 24 at 26 minutes. This is the most farm carry you've ever seen. 370 CS at the 26 minute mark. That's much more than 10 per second. I'm going to walk it up the high ground. Think I care about shrapnel? No. I should probably just walk out of the shrapnel, to be honest. But I'm a Chad. I don't even, I don't even pay attention to the shrapnel. Pango swashbuckled my entire wave that I needed to lifesteal with, but that is fine. Pango's playing with some fire right now. He does not care. All right, and let's see if bought a back to farming. You know how it is with a carry lifestyle. You take a fight, you take the objectives, you immediately say, Team, I have no clue what you guys want to do, but I don't care. I'm back to the side lanes, baby. Back to the jungle. Get in my minute 27 neutral items. There we go. Ceremonial robe. Just what I wanted. 
All right, once I have Scotty, I'm pretty confident I can just run it down. I also kind of feel like a pistol could be all right, just so I can, like, stun the puck and the weaver, but... I don't know. We'll be okay. I'm just gonna go barrel it down bottom. I'm gonna... I'll, we'll test if they can kill me or not. Who knows? It'll be a cool science experiment. Ow. All right, let's go heal up real quick. Let's not be like too much of a psycho. I obviously think I can get bursted from, from 2,000 HP. It'll be hard for them to burst me from 3,000, but 2,000. I also think one thing that I'm keeping, I, I'm thinking about for Luna is if you are going to play Luna, you need to make sure you have a lot of catch. Like this game, I think it's a pretty good example. We have a good team comp to play around it. We have a lot of catch, so. Um, I can really like, tight under also would make a lot of sense to me. You know, these heroes that can frontline and catch, I think are the best examples. Like Pango's a bit weird because he can't really frontline, you know. Oh, whoops. I just pranked the Pango. Pango's like a, you know, he's a decent example, but he's not the best frontliner, which makes it a bit worse in my opinion. But all right, let's farm up this level 25. We'll get our lifesteal talent. Absolutely unkillable. Oh, the Paladin Sword. Give me that. <laughs> I'm going to have infinite lifesteal. All right, Pango apparently does not want us to win the game. He is swashbuckling my Scotty level 25 wave. Definitely not important timing. Oh, he's giving it to me. What a nice guy. Dude, my Scotty timing! Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, yeah, if I get Roche plus Scotty, that's that's a GG. They actually cannot touch me. Dude, what is wrong with these people? I've pinged it like eight times. Me and Weaver just saying hi. Don't mind me, Weaver. All right, let's go hit the roach. I think it's alive at least, right? Crazy. I'm just going to take it. Um, you might be wondering, like, why not give it a Storm? Isn't Storm, like, the best Aegis hero? Well, the thing is, it, we just want to end the game. Like, we can just end the game by me taking Aegis and walking up the high ground with, you know, a million net worth advantage. So hopefully he'll let me have it. He might be tilted about that. Who knows? I know Storm players generally feel entitled. This guy doesn't seem to care, though, which is great. Respect to I.I. I. Don't know what's going on with Mars, though. Seems like he is perishing. All right, we have a million items at the 30 minute mark, and we're level 25 with 8 million lifesteal. Can we die twice? That is the question of the year. I've actually taken my hands off the keyboard. Let's see how this plays out. Oh. Oh. Full heal off the creep wave. Very nice. They are cutting our wave. We do have a top wave, though. Hey, stop. Oh, nice. A puck came over to let him get some lifesteal. Tell me to get back? What? I'm not far forward. I got speared. I'm just going to start building these up so when the back door goes down, I'll have a million of these. Oh, never mind. It's hitting too many things. All right, nice little creep wave. Quickly heal up. Hero's got to be careful. All right. <laughs> oh my god. Who is this? I'll break your Lincoln's real quick. Sorry, me. I don't know about this coil. I'm pretty sure I'm just going to stand still and auto attack and hope for the best. Uh-oh. That's no good. And looks like they won't be able to kill me. Who could have guessed? The Sanj 8 million lifesteal build can't die. And this is how you get to high MMR without doing anything. Even though, you know, this doesn't work every game, obviously, but it works like 90% of games, I'd say. Something like that. I should do so little damage, but I just don't die. <laughs> Alright, thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed me hit creep for 32 minutes, pick up an Aegis, and run down mid. But that's frankly how most games go in pro Dota. So, uh, yeah. 
Thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. And that's all, but remember, before you leave, come on, before you tune out, subscribe to the Game Leap website, where we are going to help you get to the next rank. If you're stuck, click the link down below, and I'm out. Peace.